Hello, and welcome to the second beta of Trapped in the Sky. This is a shortish video, uh, and I hope to take you through the different things that have changed since the first beta. So this is pretty much the same. Uh, so I'll just jump straight in. Different series, there is a unlocked or an unlockable thing, which is the murder class. Uh, this gives you um, improved accuracy, and, and this one's unlocked by um, completing the game without killing anyone. Uh, so it, the second class does work, but I can only play as the first one since I haven't unlocked it on on this machine. Uh, this is a bit of a scary test as well because I haven't tested a lot of the normal maps with um, this computer. Um, you might I'm whispering because my family is asleep as I'm recording this, so this is a bit of a, of a sneaky video. Anyway, um, after it goes past the intro, I'll try and explain the different features. Here we go. So yeah, this is pretty much the same, but you'll notice that some of the um, occluding sprites are now um, sort of faded out the further you get away, so they don't stand out right. Oh, and there's also some hacks. You'll see a, a thing for hacks there, which will appear, which I'll try and explain. Um, I've changed the health pill sprite. That's not exactly a world-changing change, but uh, there you go. Um, if I go to the maps, yeah, one of the main things is we now have levels to go to, so you can go up and down the lifts as well as across. So each map is a bit more complicated than it was before. Um, this level has virtually not changed. Um, yeah, I don't think anything in this level has changed, so I'm here just trying to search out. Oh yeah, that, that blue power cell is different. Oh, the looting has changed, so you can no longer get the sort of bigger items in this level, because you wouldn't find like five CPUs, for example, in a cloth bed, so the items you find are, they should be um, representative of the location you find them. So when you're in the cargo area, that's where you find the bigger items. And when you're in like the cells, you, you don't see those kind of things. Uh, so I'm just searching around. Now I do know in this playthrough, um, I don't actually find any of the new weapons. So um, you're only going to see the handgun in this, this episode. Uh, but there are two other weapons available now. There's an automatic rifle which I don't really need to explain, and also a shotgun, again, I don't really need to explain it. Oh, you'll see here I've, I've found one of the recipes for a hack, uh, that one is bullet lotion, doesn't tell you, but I, I know what that is. Oh, and I found a one for vial bullets here, so I can make the bullets, because it's glowing, and as soon as it fades, I can't make any more, and to make that particular recipe, I needed some lockpicks and bullets and it combines the two to make uh, bullets that have a l bit more damage. Um, there are going to be more hacks in later versions, but for this beta I just want to get a... Oh yeah, one thing I wanted to show is the um, shader has been slightly adapted, so like, there's a little bit of blur in... The oh, this is a new level. I'll come back to the shaders later. But yeah, this is my, the crew quarters, so it's meant to look a bit more plush, because this is where the crew live, and you can see they've got a, a more room and they've got more items in here. So there's a bigger bed, a desk, uh, in some cases there's also a trunk to explore. Um, the floor's a lot nicer, there's, there's a trunk. Actually, normal map looks alright on that. Good, yes, I'm happy. So yeah, you could go through and collect the various items from here. And there are less rooms, because uh, they're generally bigger. And there's also a canteen and a gun store. The gun store's not ready, so I'm not showing it in this episode. Neither the canteen really, but there's two tables. But the kitchen bit isn't in there. I did manage to finish it for this for this piece, and I, I just thought, ah oh, well, this piece is kind of good enough to get out. So that those kind of features will come later. They don't they don't add particularly anything to the level, so to speak. They, they just make it look obvious what the room is. Whereas at the moment, it just looks like a room. Bit of battling here. Excellent. I didn't die. That's good. Um, this is where I found my one of the first bugs. Is I need to um, take the characters off the collision list because at the moment they're on the collision list. So even when they're dead, I can't actually collect the stuff that's in them. 
That's a bit of an error, but I'll correct that because um, I've changed how the collision is done now. Um, it's pretty transparent, but it means that I, I can't walk over beds and chairs anymore, which is good. It means it looks a bit more realistic, um, but it means I've obviously found that book now. Um, the shader I was going on about is this like a shadow, a, a blur applied to the shadow, a blur that's applied um, more at the distance, so the edges of the shadow are more blurry than the ones closer to you. Um, uh, it's not quite as I want it, but it's a step in the right direction, so um, this is, I expect the shader, or I want to improve the shader in the, in the third beta, but for now this is like a good, it was a good test of how to add blur for me, because uh, I hadn't done that previously. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, again, just back in the uh, cell, another cell area here as I hunt around. I really want to try to look for here, because I'm looking for uh, the other guns, because I want to show um, the different styles of weapons. What you can imagine an automatic rifle is just a rapid fire gun. Uh, that's exactly what it is, and a shotgun is a, a, a slower gun, a bit like a handgun, uh, it reloads differently. So rather than reloading all in one go, it reloads like and it increases. It has a, a a like a harder bullet or a bullet that implies bigger damage. Um, yeah, as you'd expect a shotgun to do. Really, I mean, it's not breaking any uh, imagination. It's it's, it's it's just a shotgun. <laughs> Uh, but they're just different weapon types that I want to add into a, a bit of variety. Uh, some of the hacks I want to make later will uh, just like uh, how the ha how the different weapons work. So you can you can have a shotgun that um, fires like a, an automatic rifle, that kind of thing. Um, here again with another cruise quarters, looking round. Not sure. Oh, no, I'm getting shot at here. So I think I take some health. Even though, but luckily I've got armor. Which I was meant to say, there's now body armor, which means that you don't die instantly when you take that kind of damage. So um, I was able to survive. Uh, luckily, because I've got some health, uh, I can actually absorb any additional bullets. And again, yeah, like it's stuck on the collision, so he can't collect the, the loot from the player, which is for the dead um, enemy. So that's a bit annoying. Um, I think I go to. Uh, oh, you go up and down the lift now, I think. Yeah, so. Going up and down the lift is just using space or enter. If you're using the keyboard and if you're using the 360 controller, it's a bit different. Um, oh, yeah, so here we enter a failed thing, and you can see it's all sort of darker. Uh, oh, yeah, now I'm dead. Oh, and I applied a, a new shader here to this sort of game over zone, which is a kind of like a melting shader. So the screen sort of melts away like this the longer you look at it. Um, yeah, it's too <laughs> I was just sort of messing around, but I quite like it. I might apply a different background image because I think at the moment it looks a bit odd.